God is good, and with each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. And Pantheon has shown off its new art and graphics in motion for the first time. With testing for VIPs about to kick off again sometime in October, where we will get to experience this and hopefully share through streams what Pantheon's world now looks and feels like after this conversion. I think for the big graphic and art reveal, Pantheon should have shown more than what we got. It was a rather short video, especially after we've kind of been in the dark for a few months, right? But it does clearly demonstrate the graphic style and the reason for the changes. It sure does beat the couple of few screenshots that we got when they first went public with this graphic change for Pantheon. We're going to talk about these new graphics in detail. We're going to look at what the community has been saying, and we're going to discuss what it all means for the future of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen today. My name is Nathan. I cover MMOs and RPGs, so please hit that like button like it owes you money, and subscribe for more content. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go, baby. Now, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Pantheon Rise of Fallen has been in development for too long to not be in alpha. Not only do we know this, but the developers are very much aware of this as well. Apparently, a large bottleneck for the developers has been trying to make this game have a more realistic style and get art and animation into the game in a timely manner that also will run well and smooth and be performant. This new graphic style, according to developers, is going to solve those issues. This actually makes a lot of sense with this being an indie title, small team, and a limited budget. The new graphics you are seeing now, according to developers, are allowing them to get more done than they've ever been able to accomplish at any point in the development cycle. Now, that is worth celebrating, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. At this point in development, we need to see this progress. We need to feel this progress. And I don't, I feel like this short little video kind of made us worried about that all over again. Now, I really do hope that when testing for Pantheon kicks back off in October, that we really will start to fill everything that they've been working on and, and, and see this progress. At the time of recording, most of the reception in the comments, by the way, has been positive overall. Now, let's look and discuss those new graphics in detail. And first of all, I think you can see that from concept art to in-game graphics, it looks like Pantheon is able to pull it off almost flawlessly. The concept art looks almost identical to the in-game graphics, and that's a good thing. And whether you like the art style or not for Pantheon's new graphics, I think we can mostly all agree that the environments and the world actually looks fantastic. I think the couple of mobs they showed off look great as well, but that's subjective, of course. A key note I hope VR is thinking about is the resolution of the textures. For this style to stay relevant, it will need good resolution for these textures, or else they're going to run into a new bottleneck later on down the road when they need to update them. But let's look at what they've shown. I do want to look at this Griffin model, which I was not a fan of when I saw the screenshot, but here in motion, I think it looks fantastic, and I really love the animation on this Algrim. It's really well done, and I hope this is the standard for the animation on all the models for Pantheon going forward. The little ear twitch and everything looked really solid in my opinion. One thing I would like to point out is that getting the world made fast, getting the character models in, is more important at this time than animating everything to perfection. But by the end goal, I would hope everything is animated at least this well. Now, let's talk about this human model. This obvious paladin here, I think he's a little too skinny looking to be a tank in my opinion, but that can easily be changed with the character creator, I'm sure. And if we look at him in this other gear, he looks beefier in the arms, so this could just be the armor set, maybe? Making him look like he needs a few burgers and a large Coke? Once animation goes into his face, also, I think it'll look a lot better. And I want to also point out that it looks like the lighting isn't in full effect in these videos. And once we see that, it will do a lot more to sell this art style. We need to see some night shots. Some lightning in the weather system. And some fireballs blasting down a dungeon corridor. And smashing into a goblin's face. But for an indie game with a small team and with the long, hard road to get this game shipped, I am totally okay with this art, with these graphics, as I can kind of see how things are going to go, and overall, I think it will be good. And I do think even for the naysayers, when you play the gameplay loop, when you're in the world seeing all these cool systems like the perception system, climbing, and the great group gameplay, and the sheer addiction level of the classically inspired MMO game design, I think the art will grow on you quickly. And let's be honest, whether you like the new graphics or not, this is the best Pantheon has ever looked. 
And I think this move was the only move Pantheon could have made to get this game in our hands, eventually. I know that many of us, including me, had certain expectations for what Pantheon Rise of the Fallen would look like in its final form, and I don't believe any of us expected it to be this stylized. But it is what it is. So it's time for the old school fans to live by the standards we've always said. It's all about how the game plays and less about how it looks. If you follow my channel long enough, you know that I love all kinds of art styles and looks. I can find beauty in anything that was made with passion usually. I am extremely interested on what newcomers to the project think of this style because they'll be coming in without expectations already building for years and I have a feeling it's going to be mostly positive with the majority of the negativity still geared towards the long development time instead and that's fair I mean this is simply taking too long. Once upon a time it made sense for Pantheon to be so hush hush and NDA driven but with seven years down and we're still in pre-alpha with the many iterations and the refactor, for example, it's time to start showing Pantheon and showing it a lot. With a small team, it's hard to make a bunch of content and also be nose to the ground, grinding and getting this game made. But here's the deal. You have a community of streamers and content creators. It's time to let us do our thing. Stream it, show it, play it, release videos on our adventures and get to work. Leverage us. Pantheon Plus, Redbeard Flame, Co-Carnage, Bazgrim, Desperate Worlds, Mr. C, Zade God, and myself and many others. This is what we do. Let us get to work for you because it's time to show it, not tell it. And we'd be happy to do it in a natural way that the community would love. Pantheon Rise of Fallen is the MMO dream for many of us because of the vision, the scope of the project, and the feelings that were invoked when playing. There just is no substitute for exploring a fully realized world where you feel anything is possible and there's secrets and dungeons and named mobs around any corner tucked away high on that cliff. And if you could just get your climbing skill high enough to scale it, who knows what would be up over that peak. I understand that for those that haven't gotten to test Pantheon yet, it might seem scary that the vision and what you wanted out of the game could be changed since they changed the art style on you. I understand that sentiment and because you maybe you know, the news that they've got specific game loops for testing with the 24-7 test phase coming soon. But please hold the faith because nothing in the gameplay has ever suggested to me that Pantheon intends to do anything except deliver that classic old school MMO game design in a new refreshing package. I do think the art style is going to be the savior we needed to get this game into alpha and I, it sounds like the things we got coming are pushing this game finally into the alpha state. And I really hope all this is true. When you consider how long it would take to make a model in a realistic style, like for example, what Ember's also small team, even smaller actually, does for example, and then look at these models, it doesn't take much imagination to know that Pantheon Devs will be able to, to design, create, animate, and flesh out things much faster. And faster is the ticket as we near the end of 2023, and another year is going to slip by without moving into Alpha. And that really hurts my feelings. I want to also give credit to Visionary Realms, though, for not just shoving us in Alpha at the same time, for having standards that we don't just call it Alpha because it's taking too long, that we stand firm and get the MMO to the point that it really has progressed to a point being worthy of moving to the next phase. I'm glad too that we're moving past using Unity models and now actually getting the real deal into Pantheon. And although I know that many of you will disagree, I like this art style and I'm even more excited if we <laughs> see the progress moving fast and can feel the blockage, the kind of bottleneck break free like a clogged up sink, finally unclogging and draining. The amount of relief to the community that will bring if communicated and shown properly in a public facing kind of way. Most of us will be happy. But what i really like to know is what you all think. So drop a comment. Will Pantheon finally start showing major progress with this change? Do you think it looks much better now that we can see it in motion? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more MMO and RPG content. Until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dime Lopes, Sparrow, Random Rob, Zelic Lib, Rodney Mom, Gallery Moonsong, 
What's the takeaway? Trips, Bad Wolf Gaming, Chrono Guru, Cobalt, William Long, Ohalo, and Robert Deneka. Thank you for your highest tier membership.